hello students so here in this class uh, we are going to solve two problems okay from the permutation combinations little bit geometry based now here you see the maximum number of points of intersection of five lines and four circles here we have to find out maximum number of points of intersections right whenever five lines and four circles given to you how many points of intersection will be possible that you have to find out now let's see uh, first of all let us suppose five lines and four circles means uh, if i say let's suppose you have two lines okay suppose you have two lines now two lines contributes one point of intersection okay because of whenever two lines intersect there is one point of intersection so every two lines gives you one point of intersection right if they are not parallel of course they must intersect because of we want a maximum number of points we have to suppose that every pair of lines intersect right so every uh, line is intersecting with the other line then only maximum number of points will be formed okay so whenever you have a pair of line whenever you have a pair of line right pair of lines you will get one point of intersection so how many points of intersection can be formed with the help of lines means the question is how many pairs of lines we have how many pairs of lines you have that many points you are going to get okay so the question is how many pairs of lines can be formed from the five lines okay now whenever here five lines given to you how many pairs of lines you can form means indirectly from five lines how many ways you can select two lines okay from five lines how many ways you can select two lines that is the question so 5c2 how many pairs of lines you can get 5c2 from five lines you can select two lines in 5c2 ways there is nothing but there is nothing but 5 into 4 by 2 which is equals to 10 means 10 pairs of lines you will have okay 10 pairs of lines 10 pairs can be formed from the five lines now but each pair gives one point of intersection if each pair gives one point of intersection you have 10 pairs so how many points of intersection ca can be formed with the help of lines so with the help of lines if five lines given to us how many points of intersection can be formed it means how many pairs of lines can be formed 10 pairs of lines and each pair give you one point of intersection so therefore there are totally 10 points of intersection can be formed now actually a second case we can consider like this suppose you have two circles okay two circles if they intersect how many points of intersection you will get two points of intersection right here you can see whenever two circles intersect okay whenever two circles intersect we will have two points of intersections right so now the question is how many pairs of circles we will have because of each pair of circle each pair of circle each pair of circle contributes two points of intersections right there will be two points of intersection whenever we have a pair of circle means if you have two circles you will have two points of intersection so how many pairs for example let us suppose i have one more pair of circle let us suppose i have here one more circle like this then two more points you are going to get right so how many pairs of circles you have that many two points you will get so now we have here four circles from four circles we want pairs so how many pairs can be formed from four circles so four circles from that how many ways you can select two circles which can be nothing but 4c2 4c2 is nothing but how much 6 if you calculate but each pair gives how many points two points so 4c2 into 2 pair into two one pair gives you two points of direction so total number of pairs into two points so that is 4 c2 which is 6 into 2 that is equal to 12 so circles these four circles together will form how many points of direction maximum 12 points now it's not over now because we considered the case whenever two lines intersect we considered the case whenever two circles intersect now 
what you have to suppose what you have to consider one more case is there what is that if a line and circle intersect okay that is also there because we need to uh, have maximum number of possible points right so therefore we, we have to suppose that line and circle also going to intersect so if a circle and line will intersect then again you are going to get two points means one line one line and one circle together gives you how many points two points of intersection so how many combinations are there like this one circle we want and what we want one line we want so one circle means a circle can be selected from four circles in how many ways that's a question one circle can be selected from four circles in how many ways okay so we want one circle now and we want one line now so one circle can be selected in 4c1 ways because the four circles are available and five lines are available from five lines we can select one line in 5c1 ways but this pair right one line in one circle gives you how many points two points so we have to multiply with the two into two so 4c1 is 4 into 5 into 2 so 4 is a 20 into 2 which is 40 so these are the three cases right because of whenever you have lines and circles may circle intersects may two lines intersect may a line and circle intersect so if we consider all these cases total number of <coughs> points the sorry maximum number of points can be formed is what 10 plus 12 plus 40 10 plus 12 plus 40 which is equal to 62 points right so the total number of the maximum number of points of intersection of five lines and four circles is how much 62 now let's see one more question now see this question in a plane there are 37 straight lines can you see total number of straight lines are how many 37 straight lines are there total number of straight lines are 37 of which 13 passes through of, thir of which 13 passes through a point capital A. Okay, 13 lines passes through a capital A means like this. If you have thir 37 lines out of which 13 lines are passing through a single point say capital A. Okay, pass a single point capital A and 11 passes through 11 passes through the point capital B. So other set of lines in which we have 11 lines passes through a single point B. Again, no three lines passes through one point except these 13 lines which are passing, those are passing through capital A and 11 lines, those are passing through the capital B except this line, no three lines are passing through a single point okay no lines passes through two points a and b so these are the only lines which are passing through capital a and capital b no other line means other than these 13 lines no line is going to passes through capital a and other than these 11 lines no line is going to uh, going through the point b that are the conditions now the question is and no two are parallel no two are parallel means every pair of lines going to intersect every pair of lines going to intersect because of it is mentioned no two are parallel okay now you see what we have to find out then the number of intersection points we have to find out how many points of intersection can be formed now like in the previous problem whenever you have a pair of line yes whenever you have a pair of line you are going to have one point of intersection whenever you have a pair of line you are going to have one point of intersection now the question is simple if 37 lines are there how many pairs of lines can be formed means how many ways you can select two point two lines from 37 straight lines which can be done in 37 c2 but there is a problem here that now we have to deal with okay some conditions are mentioned in the problem now you see here we have the situation let us suppose uh, i took some uh, picture for this uh, actually we should have 13 lines here just i took only four lines say here we have a point a uh, from which 13 lines are going passing through right from this point a actually 13 lines are passing and from the capital b actually i took only four actually how many 11 lines are passing through from the capital b okay now you tell me whenever you have 13 37 lines just in the previous problem every pair of line what we said in the previous problem every pair of lines 
contributes one point of intersection one point of intersection so you have a pair of line means you have one point of intersection you have two pairs of lines means you have two points of intersection if you have three pairs of lines means you have three points of intersection now how many pairs of lines are there that is the question now actually from 37 straight lines how many pairs can be formed is so simple that 37 c2 now listen here carefully whenever you select two lines that means it is giving a point of intersection now but here you see 13 lines are there let us suppose passing through here there are 13 lines totally right now let us suppose i took this first line and i took the second line this one it gives capital a but i take this line first line and if i take this line can you see that this line it gives what the same point a this point a is counted two times but we have to count only one time because of different points you have to count but this capital a will be counted many times how many times out of these 13 lines whenever you select any two lines it always going to give you capital a only okay instead of counting one time instead of counting the point a as one we are counting how many times 13 c2 times because of for every two lines from these 13 lines only it contributes capital a correct from these 13 lines passing through a there are 13 lines if you take any two lines it gives you only capital a that we are counting 13 c2 times so therefore this counting should be removed from this 37 c2 total lines are 37 so 37 c2 pairs but out of that minus 13 c2 pairs counted this more the same point is counted 37 13 c2 times that is over counting similarly from b there are 11 lines passing through how many lines 11 lines if you select any two lines from these 11 you will get every time b if you take these two lines again you get b if you take these two lines again you get a b so this b is counted how many times 11 c2 times so that should not be right so we have to subtract that over counting 11 c2 but in this what is missing we have to count the capital a one time but we are counting 13 c2 times that is removed here we have to kind count b one time but we are counting it as 11 c2 times so 13 c2 and 11 c2 subtracted but the counting of a we have to count this as one this once right so that we should add at the end so 37 c2 minus 13 c2 minus 11 c2 plus 2 i hope you understood this plus 2 why we wrote because we are removing total counting 13 c2 but we have to count capital a once here also the counting 11 c2 that b is counted 11 c2 times that we are removing but b should be counted one time so therefore these two points we have to count that added extra here at the 